How's it going everybody? I hope you're having a lovely day. Today we are 381 in the world in the Builder Base. Going to be jumping into some live attacks, trying to take out some of these crazy bases. And if you've watched the previous videos, you've seen that we have been trying out some new different strategies. Not new strategies, but just different strategies. And they don't really work out that well, I find, on most of the bases. They do work on very specific bases, so if you're familiar with those strategies, I do recommend that you use them, take out those bases that you know that they work on. Otherwise, if you're up against new bases or unfamiliar bases, I always like to use the cannon carts and the baby dragon attack strategy. So, just tried the old school cannon cart attack strategy. Did not quite go so well. Now, why does this combo work so well? That's what I've been trying to ask myself lately. And I think it's that there is the perfect balance of cannon carts to clear the base out and baby dragons to nuke those core defenses that take out the cannon carts. So I'm going to send in two baby dragons to take out the lava launcher. We'll wait for the baby dragon to take out the archer before it turns. Perfect. Get that splash ability. Then we'll send in the other baby dragon. Hit the lava launcher from the other side. Now when I try to use other troops as well, I also hit a lot of traps. So I think it's just a mixture of how I like to place the cannon carts. Is that they're kind of out of the way from a lot of the things that can cause troubles. So that we don't really have to worry about hitting too many traps. We can just directly target those defenses and be good. So move in number five here. Help take out the roaster and the arch tower, of course. And then number six and number four will be going in to take out this last arch tower. So that should be working pretty good. But yeah, this is the strategy that I use literally when I'm not trying to make other different videos. It's literally the the strategy I use like 99% of the time. So only about 1% of the time nowadays will I use like a like an archer with cannon cart strategy or a like a cannon cart walk with the battle machine. I pretty much always come back to this strategy. So for the second stage, you always want to try and test for traps if you can, especially if the bases in the core of the base there's a lot of empty spots around so we definitely don't want to run into like any teslas or any push traps so we will also want to try and find some of these teslas if we can and ideally you want to try and place the cannon carts right where the cannon carts would walk so i think we have to do it over there beautiful but on this second stage, all you're really doing is focusing on these ground targeting defenses. And then you'll send in your battle machine to tank for the multi-mortar. So we did find some Teslas on the edge of the base, which is beautiful. You always want to keep moving in your cannon carts closer and closer. Staying out of range of that multi-mortar. So now I think we send in the battle machine this bottom left hand side of the base to find the last tesla and then we can also send in six to just kind of do a cannon cart walk since the multi-mortar will eventually get distracted back onto the battle machine or i guess it is actually still locked on i thought it was going to drop aggro there but that's fine one cannon cart can definitely uh take out the multi-mortar if nothing else is attacking it Five, can move in closer, start taking out that double cannon. And then we literally just have the baby dragon specifically for the zappies because the zappies cause so much of an issue. On this attack, we nearly had the last building be the auto outpost, so we wouldn't technically have needed it if we did a little bit of fancy reset work. But this is the strategy that I like to use the three cannon carts, three baby dragons, not a whole lot of traps. I mean, you can get trapped, but it is. I feel like it's more difficult, um, especially if you kind of mix around 
which defenses you take out with the baby dragons and sending them in from different angles it tends to work out pretty good so here we are taking a look at the say probably the most popular layout at the moment so how I like to take this base out is I this base out is I try to look and see where the air expo is located so the air expo is far away from this upper arch tower so I'm gonna send in the battle copter from the right hand side of the base I want to make sure we take out this corner building also want to prep the other sections of the base with the other cannon carts and then we do have to be careful with number four since there is this kind of weird wall set up is that sometimes it, there will be push traps on that side of the base so just be careful especially as they round the corners of the walls going into the open spots just be cautious of that so Battlecopter takes out that corner archer tower which is beautiful send in two baby dragons to take out literally this whole compartment which will be nice and then we'll be able to move in number five a little bit closer so we can start to work on some other portions of the base five is close enough that it'll actually start to take out the I think the air expo which would be beautiful so now we've got Battlecopter going in for that giant cannon and I think I think we have to send the baby dragon in and take out that giant cannon that seems like the best option there uh, we also just nuke down a lot of those defenses and we'll have four working around the right hand side of the base and then number five can distract or number six can distract the the arch tower the number five can take it out so a little bit of a mixture here distracting mixing really thought the battlecopter was going to take out the the giant cannon but even with a little bit of a hiccup in the plan it still went pretty well so Again, we are looking at taking out the ground defenses. We've got three ground defenses all on this left-hand side of the base. So that should work out pretty good. Definitely test for traps over there, because there's bound to be something. Maybe not. So we'll deploy number six over there. That should work pretty good. We have to mind the corner buildings. We also want to take out this crusher. So we'll do that. We'll send a barbarian over there. And then I think we send in, oh, we found a push trap, nice. We'll actually deploy right on that push trap. Beautiful, beautiful. And then I guess we send in another barbarian. Test for some traps, looks like we're doing pretty good. We'll be able to directly send in our battle machine onto this probably gold storage perhaps. I guess we'll take out the gold sword, but we can send in our battle machine to take out the multi-mortar, which would be awesome. So, I think we send in the battle machine now. It's always good to start it when there's like one minute left. But then I think as our cannon cards get closer to the firecrackers, we can then use the baby dragon to take out the auto outpost see here now six will get retargeted by the multi-mortar uh, which is kind of unfortunate but four can actually go on a walk number five can start going on a walk as well use the battle machine ability get through that last double cannon and then we should be doing pretty good here got that one firecracker going down which I think should be enough so don't know if we need the baby dragon or not but i always like to bring one just for those zappies because they can cause a lot of issues so got another six star attack we'll take a look at the defenses two six stars beautiful so let's mix the base up again let's see here just making sure it's not all the same person that we're getting attacked by that is one of the other things that happens uh at the top of the leaderboards is that you pretty much always have to six star Eat every single attack otherwise you will likely get six starred so it's just a matter that the offense is more powerful than the defense 
So you have to sort of psychologically trick people into attacking your base a certain way to try and get a better defense. So here I see we've got three of the defenses that outrange the cannon carts all in this nice little area. So might as well send the baby, two baby dragons and the battlecopter in that area and then one baby dragon for the other archer tower. And that should work out pretty good. No corner buildings, which is nice. We'll let the battlecopter kind of charge up a little bit. We'll deploy some of these cannon carts around the base. Make sure we're out of range of everything. Biggest thing with the cannon carts is just making sure they're always attacking. If they're on mobile mode, just watch. Make sure they don't go cruising around too far. Mess things up for you. Always good to attack the closest building to them first as well. Because uh, you can potentially run into some issues where the... If you try and get them, like, very, very close to the next closest defense, maybe like a cannon that can kind of outrange them, sometimes that does not actually work out very well. And then, like, a Tesla will pop, like there. Tesla could have potentially taken out the, uh, the cannon cart. Oh, we actually did lose the uh, other baby dragon on that side of the base, so we don't actually get down the lava launcher. But what's nice is that the lava launcher is pretty low health, so where's four want to go? Around the base? That is not the worst thing that could happen. Um, so we'll have four here. When the lava launcher hits another hit, we'll actually move it out of the way so it retargets onto something else. So now it's up top. So now once the next shot goes down, we will deploy, try to move the cannon cart somewhere else. And then it is out of the radius of the lava launcher. And now we just have to really just hope for the best. We'll send in four and five, get that last hit off. Nice. So I don't know what happened with that baby dragon up top. I 100% I I thought it was going to take out or get at least angled towards the lava launcher. So I wasn't even watching it. So that's my bad I'm trying to explain and talk about other things. But you always have to be careful and watch things. So with two cannon carts, it makes things a little bit more tricky. Um, brings in the question, do you want to bring in barbarians test for traps? Or would you just bring in another baby dragon and not worry about it? I think we do have to test for traps unfortunately and we'll clear out these corner buildings as well so we don't have to worry about those but I'm looking at this left hand side and there's a uh, oh, interesting oh we found one push trap which is nice so I guess we'll deploy down here see if that works but ideally we, we want to clear this whole left hand side of the base I'm a little worried of a Tesla in there so I think maybe we'll just deploy another Barbarian. Okay, no Tesla. Nice. Crusher should go down. Cannon's going down. And then we should get close enough to take out the double cannon. Ooh. Run, cannon cart. Run like the wind. Wow, we found a deep push trap. That is very rare, I will have to say. So let's send in our battle machine. Go for that double cannon. We'll have to send in the baby dragon in a really weird spot. Um, if there's a push trap here with number five, we will. Okay, we don't have to worry about it too much. Oh man, our battle machine's getting slammed by the double cannon and the the guard post troops. Do we get the third ability? We do get the third ability. We have to use it on the wall, unfortunately. Uh, we can send in a baby dragon for the auto outpost. Baby dragon ability for the zappies. And do we take out the... We do take out the mortar. Okay, there is some hope. Um, no, there's no hope. Yeah, losing that cannon cart. We just lost so much DPS. Very unfortunate. We found a deep push trap. I've never... 
Not familiar with that spot. We were able to take out that cannon easily, but that deep push trap pushed us into the double cannon. Sneaky. I'll give them that. You know, other top players, they do very well, and another six star. So, unfortunately, the two six stars and the five star do not beat the three six star losses. So, not much we can do, but hopefully you can learn from this video. Try to push up, perfect some strategies. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Helps me out a bunch. There's a couple more videos on the screen if you want to keep on watching. And until next time, take care.